Welcome back to Switcher South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash as always in proud collaboration with Change Cars and today you join me without my glasses because it's actually going to be such a long day so I forgot my glasses to start off and to show you how committed I am to giving you guys the content right today is the 24th of April 2024 it's my birthday and I'm working I'm shooting content so yeah you guys need to understand i do the most for you guys but yeah enough about me i'm gonna tell you every single thing you need to know about the vehicle that i'm in today i'm in another mercedes benz a class but it's a sedan and it's a diesel so i'm gonna show you every single thing you need to know from the exterior what is the difference between the sedan and the hatchback and what the difference this one has over the, the hatchback that we had earlier and overall interior there is a difference in the interior and we'll speak about the drive because that's where the main thing is and cost of ownership is the same as the previous one but we're still going to speak about it so starting with the exterior of the vehicle there's two differences right so the main difference is obviously this has a sedan so it has a bigger boot uh, and then it's obviously designed differently at the back i personally i did say this before i prefer the hatchback over the sedan that's the difference you will be seeing on the replay videos i'll push the hat the hatchback now i put the sedan so you guys will choose between which one you like the most and then you comment down below then the specific model this unit is packed with different types of wheels so this one is packed with the you guys should know the mercedes-benz five um five star design that's the wheels that this car has and actually i prefer the ones that the multi-spoke ones these five star ones i think are because i've gotten used to them for so long not really a fan of them like that i prefer the other one so i think i just prefer the other hatchback over this one the color of this one it's a nice color you get black um mirror caps which is good jumping into the interior the interior looks exactly the same because it's exactly the same car the only difference is that this car is not spec with the sports seats right so the sports seats are the ones that the hatchback had so the hatchback that we tested had the sports seats and i told you guys that i don't necessarily like the design of, of those sports seats and i'm not a fan of it's just not too comfortable in that one right because it's trying to be a bucket seat but it's not essentially a bucket seat well quotation marks right this is where this one comes into play so this has the standard seats right and for a change the standard is where to go so these seats they feel amazing and i'm the i'm one to speak because i jumped out of the hatchback dropped it off picked up this one so literally when i was driving the hatchback i was uh, those seats are a bit on the uncomfortable side of things. I jumped into these ones and I immediately felt comfortable. So I like these seats. I'll definitely get get my hatchback. If I to get an A-class hatchback the way I like it, I'll definitely get it with the standard seats. I'm not upgrading anything. The only time I'll upgrade seats is if I get an A35 and A45S. I'll upgrade to the the sports bucket seats, those proper bucket seats. But other than that, we'll speak about those vehicles when, when you do get them on test and all of that. But that's the interior difference that's the only difference you get between the sedan and the hatch in terms of the interior the seats are the difference but you can get those other seats in this vehicle so now speaking about the part where is most important is the engine so this car is powered by a two liter four cylinder turbo diesel engine which produces 110 kilowatts and 320 newton meters of torque and off the bat and i'm telling you this now this is the engine to go for I know you might like petrols and all of that stuff, but the diesel one is the one to go for. Besides the fuel efficiency and how economical the car is, right? You can do easily 800 k's on one tank here, you know. Um, you can easily go down to like, I think the lowest I went was 6.1. I feel like I can still go lower. In terms of, this is the fuel efficiency. That aside, the power delivery is so much better. You can feel that now you are in a bigger engine. You're not in you're in a, you're not in that 1.3 liter engine that is found in the A200 petrol. You're in a two liter four cylinder now. Now you can feel that there's power. So immediately, so when I got into this vehicle, I didn't know how big the engine is. I knew the diesel. Um, I knew how much power it produces, um, but I didn't know how much um, what is the engine capacity. But when I drove it immediately, all the first impressions, I'm like, this has to be a two liter because you could feel how big the engine is. You can feel that it's capable. And when you're driving, it climbs speed quickly now. For like for an A200D, it gets to speed quite quick. So it's something I really do like. And I, if you are buying an A-Class, guys, if you are buying an A-Class, please listen to me. Do not buy an A200. You won't enjoy an A200. Dri buy an A200D, the diesel variant. You will, That you will love. That you will love. Even speed aside or anything aside, it's just much more to 
nicer to drive. And remember in the 800 video, if you did watch that video, I spoke about when you are slowing down like this. The 800 does this thing where it's creeping, like it does this thing, right? At low speeds. It irritated me so much. Here, I am not experiencing it. So it's, I think, yeah, this engine is the one to go for, honestly. And it drives so good. Um, and it's also, it comes with a, an 8-speed automatic gearbox, which is good, decent enough. Gives you what you want when you need it. And there's different dive modes. There's an Eco, there's a Comfort, there's a Sport. But in such vehicles, you don't really feel the difference from Comfort and Sport. Um, it just holds the gears a bit longer. But other than that, the car, you'll drive it in Comfort majority of the time. It'll get the job done. You won't need to put it in any other drive mode. I personally feel like that. So the diesel variant is the one to go for. And I don't know why, but this specific sedan is not as low as the hatchback. I don't know if it's the wheels or the wheels may, might be the difference. I'm not too sure why, but the sedan is actually quite high compared to the hatchback that I had last week. So that's with regards to the driving of the vehicle. Now time to speak about the pricing. So if you haven't watched my 800 video, so A-Class, the A-Class range, starting price of this vehicle is 755,000 Rand, which is a lot of money. I did say in my previous video. Spec wise, this one is quite well spent. Like it has almost every single thing. I said the only things that I that I can that I can see that it doesn't have is the the Meister um, sound system, and it has there's so it has a it has a package. So it has a premium package, which goes for like 60, 60 something. I'll put the correct price on the screen: sixty something thousand rand. But on top of that, there's a there's a premium plus package which goes for hundred thousand rand. That's the package that this one doesn't have. You know, so spec wise, the specific one you're looking in and around 900,000 Rand. And if you take that 900,000 Rand to finance this vehicle over a period of five years, which is 60 months, at an interest rate of 12.25%, with no deposit, with no balloon, you are looking at paying 20,100 Rand. It's a lot of money, yet again. I keep saying this, it's a lot of money. Would I spend that money on the A class? No, I would not. But if I had it and I was looking at just an A class, at just the one service, it's just an A3, definitely. And I did say this in my previous video, the guys, let's stick to the BMW one series, Audi A3 and Mercedes Benz A200 because that's where I want us to focus on in these videos. Some of you guys did listen, some of you guys did comment, you guys did tell me you want the BMW. I didn't see too many Audi comments, some did say the Mercedes Benz. But there's those few that obviously spoke about the Chinese, the Japanese, and all that stuff. So in this video, I'm giving you guys the leeway, right? Now, here's my question to you guys. You earn X amount of money, you have 20,000 Rand to spend on a car, right? Which is essentially 900,000 Rand. That's capital, 900,000 Rand. Where would you spend your money? You don't have any other car, it's your first car. But you can afford a 900,000 Rand car, it's your first car. Do you go for something nice and small, like an, like an A-Class? Or do you go i know a lot of guys are gonna tell me performance variant vehicles so some even commented uh demo model a35 i don't blame you i would most probably do the same so tell me what you guys would buy would you go used performance or new nice and small comfort or cheaper chinese japanese korean this in this video you are allowed to comment like that the previous one don't but yeah i've told you everything you need to know about this vehicle on my birthday guys on my birthday <laughs> yeah but yeah i'm nikki nash from Citrus south africa in proud collaboration with change cars as always i'm signing out i'll see you in the next one